I'm going to start. Uh, I ready? was I was hoping. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm John Noser. This is Board Game Geek TV. We're here at Gen Con 2014. I'm with Will Schoonover of Privateer Pre Press, and we are looking at Level 7 Invasion. Yes. This... It, I love the map, and the bits look really awesome. So tell me a little bit about what's going on in this, this game. So this is game three in our level seven setting. Okay. We had Escape, the first game, and then Omega Protocol, the second game, and then this one is Invasion, the third chapter in the story, so they each tell the same story. Okay. But they're each mechanically different. So okay. this one is a global scale d defending the planet against an alien invasion. So Dr. Kronos, the evil mastermind of the aliens that you were fighting in the first two games okay. has been running from these new aliens, the Hydra, and they finally caught him on Earth. And when they show up, they just start basically indiscriminately attacking the planet to kill him. Okay. And he has a solution to, to winning this war, but he can't do it by himself. He needs the world to keep him alive. So the players play the coalitions of governments that have survived the initial attack that band together to keep Kronos alive until he can finish his project to win you the game. Okay. It's semi-cooperative. Okay. Uh, the board controls the bad guy elements, uh, the Hydra where their dropships land, that kind of stuff. And the players are playing to, to keep themselves individually alive, but also to win the war as a whole. So each player is a, a faction, one of these colors yes. on the map? Yes. Okay. Okay. So tell me a little bit what's going on like in the turns and okay. this seems like a very complicated so, yes. board. So this is this is the player console. Every player has one of these for his coalition. So this, so this would be Europe. This is Europe's. This tracks your, your specific resources. Also your military industrial complex, which is an abstraction of workforce and factories and military command structure and stuff. Okay. So this is the health of your coalition. If this ever hits zero, you have died. If you die it doesn't necessarily mean the game is over and everyone loses though. So there are certain circumstances where the rest of the world will abandon you because they don't need you so much anymore and you're on mm -hmm. your own. But generally they keep you alive. It also tracks the status of all your territories. If a territory is captured by the Hydra by having as many of your units in it as the defense number, mm -hmm. then you overlay a overrun on that and it impacts the resource management of your coalition. You get less minerals from that one and less money and that kind of okay. stuff. There's also a terror track on here, and as the game progresses, your population will become more and more terrified by certain events that happen during the game. And those will also impact your, in your income. So you're trying to manage and, and, and hold out long enough for Kronos to finish as the aliens send wave and wave and wave and wave and wave stuff after you. Okay, now with, are you, is it just, we have to hold out for five turns and, or a certain no. amount of turns, or is there a way we can be helping him to make so him go faster? So these, the Kronos project cards, Okay. They are the representation of that project he's working on. Okay. There are seven of those cards. Okay. The first six belong to specific coalitions, and Kronos can only do that card while he's in that coalition. Okay. So when you when you the world funds that card, you stick that card on the edge of the board, a new ability becomes active for the game, and you have to move him along the, the map to build all those cards. When you build the final one, that triggers the end of the game and you're almost done. Okay. So how do you lose? Okay, you lose in a couple of different ways. Most importantly, if Dr. Kronos is ever in a territory that becomes overrun, you lose. They caught him. He, he cannot help you win the war. The war cannot be won. Okay. Also, if a coalition that has not built its card yet, because there are seven of them, and mm -hmm. so it'll be later in the game before some of them are built, if that coalition falls, the chain is broken. You can't win that way either. Okay. If you lose your capital, if it becomes overrun and you don't get it back soon enough, you also lose the game individually. Individually, but not as a team. Unless your project card hasn't been built and okay. then the team loses. Fair enough. And there's also um, 11 rounds worth of event cards. Okay. So every round, all the coalitions get an event card. They choose secretly one of the two events that's gonna happen on there. They play their choice to Alpha or Bravo, and then you resolve all those cards. And every round you do that, and there's only 11 rounds of cards in the game. So if at the end of a round there are no event cards left, you have also lost. You didn't win the war soon enough. Okay. Wow, that's a lot going on. It seems it really is. interesting. So tell me just a little bit about a, a kind of a turn overview. Okay, so we've got three phases, 15 steps. The steps are fairly simple. Okay. They're broken into to very simple actions. The first part, the first phase, is the development phase. That's where you 
increase your technologies, you buy new soldiers, you get your income. And then the warfare phase is the, is the middle where you move your soldiers around and Dr. Kronos, and then you do that event part, mm -hmm. and then you have battles, and then uh, you check to see if places have been conquered. And then during the maintenance phase, control of Kronos shifts to the player that where he's at on the world, you check for terror and a few other things to kind of clean up. And then at the end, you draw a new dropships card, which determines where the new dropships land, because the dropships are spawn points for the invaders. Okay. So these will shift around the map during the entire game, and you'll have a, a preparation for, okay, a dropships in Siberia and a dropships in the Nigerian League. We have to get our troops positioned so that they're ready when the troops are pouring out of those dropships. Okay. Now, obviously, there's five factions, if I'm counting correctly. Yes. 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 Now, is it only a five-player game? It is a three- to five-player game. Okay. Just like some other large world economy games, you mm. need all five factions to play because everything is limited to what the resources in the yes. game are. Learning the game, you should play with five people because getting the flow of those steps down is a little bit convoluted the first time you play. Fair enough. But every round, all 15 steps happen in the same order. Nothing shifts. So after a few rounds, you'll know it. And after a game or two, you'll be able to handle playing two coalitions at the same time. OK. So we suggest three to five. You can play the game all by yourself, but it takes a really long time to manage all five coalitions. So I don't encourage it, and that's why I put three to five on the box. OK, cool. How long? About how long does it take? So new players. Um, I have experiences. I've run some blind tests and done some demos. New players tend to make too many mistakes and lose the game in two hours or less. Okay. And experienced players who know what they're doing tend to finish the game on about round eight or nine at the like two and a half hour mark. Okay. So the box says three to four because it's possible it could go a little longer than two and a half or three hours, but I don't believe that that happens except to players who are in between that new player stage and that experienced player stage. When you're still trying to make the fewest mistakes, but you're still making some, the, the, the game may, you may be able to finish it, and, and some players may win, but it might not go as short as it will go when, you, when you're experienced players and you know what you're doing. And there is an individual winner. No, there, there are winners or losers based on who's alive or not. Okay. Like, if America is still standing and Asia is still standing, those players win. The other players have all no. lost the game. Okay. Yeah. So it is cooperative, but not everybody could win. It's semi-cooperative because players are forced to make bad decisions that could impact other players instead of themselves during the event stage. Okay. And our trading system, since there's five coalitions, one man is always out on the trades. When okay. I trade with you, we've locked our trade in, and we can't trade with anybody else. And then with five, so there's a yeah. fifth guy. So there's a lot of moments where I say, I, I need to buy oil from someone. I will offer $2 million for one oil. And another and no, guy at the table might say, well, I'll pay $3 million for oil, and then I lose my chance to get okay. something. So there's a little bit of that kind of selfishness built into the game to make it semi-co-op. But you okay. are still all trying to, to work together to win the game. Okay. Well, cool. Thank you for uh, showing us the game. It looks awesome. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that's, I think there's, unless there's Thanks. anything else to say. There's a whole bunch more to say, but we don't really have time for that right okay, now. Okay, fair, fair enough. Is there a place where they can kind of go to find a little bit more detail about yes, it? Yes, uh, we have a tutorial video online. Okay. Um, uh, and we also have, of course, privateypress.com, which has our forums with a level seven dedicated section. And uh, I usually try to, to haunt the internet for a little while. Okay. After something launches, especially. Okay. And I hit the BGG forums for it, and then I look at our forums and any other place where there's some traffic. Okay. And I try to answer frequently. That's how I kind of build a fact. On, during that first few months is based cool. on people's reactions to it on the internet, so. Well, thanks for giving us an overview of the game. Yeah, thanks. No problem.